from the NBC4 studios, this is NBC4 at 11, working for you. More than 24 hours of pounding rain has essentially drowned central Ohio. There was a lot of water. We've seen a possible tornado, flooding, high winds, heavy rain, bright lightning, and rumbling thunder. In the wake of what seemed like a never-ending deluge of water, we're now seeing just what Mother Nature is capable of. It just came really fast. City crews working quickly to try and save a local city's water supply from fast-moving floodwaters. And the helicopters move in to make a rescue tonight. Neighbors are leaning on each other to figure out what to do next. Good evening, everyone. We start tonight to the north, where residents in Richland County got a one-two punch with a possible tornado and severe flooding. And in Bucyrus, the water level is extremely dangerous, even threatening the town's water supply. We start our team coverage with Matt Alvarez. Matt? Well, good evening, Mindy and Mike. The Bucyrus officials expect the water to crest around midnight tonight in a town that has not seen this kind of flooding in decades. Remnants from Hurricane Aaron have left its mark on a town of 14,000. Homes throughout the area flooded, property damaged, cars underwater. The town's mayor says it's the worst flooding he's seen since 1959. As you can see, the Sandusky River overflowing its banks right now here in Bucyrus. Check out some of that debris over there. All personal property from people's houses down the river. This home is at the center of the flooding. The resident is just glad he and his family are out. Well, let's take a look right now there, Steve. If you take a look right now, some stuff. I mean, is that your personal property right there, sir, just coming off there? No, it's stuff from everywhere. Hopefully none of my stuff comes out of the garage. I hope it stays up until it goes down. Lines of people stand along North Sandusky Street as debris floats by and one unwise driver tries to make it across the street. His car is stuck in the current, dispatching rescue crews. Sir, sir, you said a boat is coming? Yes, sir. A boat is on its way. Okay. And residents have their own opinion of the drunk decision. They are idiots. They're idiots. Residents say, quote, they're idiots. I think that's a fair description. Bucyrus fire crews say they've conducted 10 to 12 rescues today, saying the drunk driver rescue was the most severe. They're lucky. They were feet away from being swept down the river. On the opposite side of town, the water facility in the way of danger. All day, workers have put hundreds of sandbags around the plant, one, to prevent contamination, and two... If water would get in the basement, we'd be done. The pumps would be done. The, you know, everything would short out, and we'd be... I don't know how long before we could get up and running. We're, we're keeping the water out with the sandbags, but I got water infiltrating through every crack in the basement. Bucyrus Mayor Dan Ross is optimistic. I think the community is doing fairly well, but yes, there's a lot of damage to homes, a lot of damage to the vehicles, property, and so forth. People are through it, but it's uh, not pretty right now. Even if we're losing a lot of houses, a lot of people's homes, businesses, um, it means a lot to our community. A whole lot. In Bucyrus, Matt Alvarez, NBC4. And in Hardin County,